What was the one thing we needed? The Harachi. And what was the one thing you forgot? The Harachi. <laughs> <laughs> Who's trying to hit some home runs? He loves me. He loves me. What's good guys, welcome to episode 4 of Insole. You just witnessed our brand new intro, let us know what you think about it. This episode is going to feature our behind the scenes highlights of our Horachi campaign, where we went to four different parts of London, some great bits in there, and we're going to follow it up with an MLB and basement event which we attended, which was arguably one of our best nights so far, and really just introduce you to a few more people in the team. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and George will take it away. We are here in South London by the Cutty Sark, and I'm here with this little baby, the triple black Harachi. Now, for anyone that doesn't know, this is a heritage. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shoe that made the Soul Supplier blow up. Um, after around six months of me working out my parents' spare bedroom, getting no results, this shoe got the number one Google ranking, and we got thousands of page views in one day. It was a golden moment and it let people know that the Soul Supply is the place that you can come to find shoes like this and all of the retailers that you can buy them at. So we're here today paying respects to the Triple Black Karachi because if it wasn't for this, we wouldn't be here today. We're currently going to be continuing our Karachi campaign, two wonderful creative team members in the back. And we're currently waiting for our talent. We've taken too damn long. We were heading out yeah. to go to the location. Yeah. What was the one thing we needed? The Harachi. And what was the one thing you forgot? The Harachi. It's not gonna work. Approximately 10 hours later. Yeah. Is it? How, how does that look? Uh, I mean, look, you're not gonna get it any better than that, are you? <laughs> I love you too much. Well. Alright, 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 alright. It's fine, it's fine. Have to stop. Out on the shoulder there. Look at all these chickens. Alright, so we're just here on the street and we've realised why models are good at their job. Because when I'm told to look at the trainers and look in the camera, I don't know what to do with my face and Dan feels the same, but Dan's got a technique for us. So let's do it together. Alright, right, so first part, right? Smile without your eyes. Raise your eyebrows and then drop your smile. <laughs> so now we're currently at Trellick Tower, which will be the set, the main setting of our West okay, London shoot. You see a, a limb over here modeling with the Harachis right there. Lana on the lens, taking photos of the main location now. Anna! <laughs> what do you have on your feet at the moment? Uh, so sometimes you just got to make sacrifices yeah. um, to get the right shot in time. So big news happened last weekend. As you can see, we are the creative team, but Dan's not here at the moment. But he actually has a newborn son. Woo! Yeah, we just wanted to say our congratulations to Dan because he's probably going to have to watch this at home rather than manage us. So <laughs> we hope you're watching it with your baby and getting him onto the vlogs early. Primo Junior. Primo Woo! Junior. I love how that's your only line. <laughs> Obviously, massive shout out to Sophie, Dan's partner, because clearly she did all the hard work. She Miss did... Primo. <laughs> We're just, around babies. we're just super excited for this new addition to Dan's family and we cannot wait to meet the baby, hopefully, mm -hmm. and play with him. Mm -hmm. So the creative team just wishing you the best Dan and we hope to see you again soon, we hope to see the baby soon as well. All love, all love always. Yeah, also Ooh. this Ooh. baby is gonna be hella spoiled. Yeah, <laughs> Not spoiled, very, very by spoiled. us. Alright, we'll take it back to the vlog now. MLB, MLB, basement in the building. Who's trying to hit some home runs? <laughs> Inside. What a night. What a night. <laughs> Best night this year, 100%. Day before in the office, Dan tells us we got an event. It's with MLB, it's with the basement, and it's in my end. Yeah. That's all we needed to know, yeah. and I was sorted. <laughs> <laughs> How do you find it like, as soon as we got there? Yeah, I was like, that was surprising actually. Because like, you walk in and you're just like, oh yeah, we, we want to get a photo of you. They give you like the props, you got like baseball bats and stuff, and then you get a cool little player card. 
I'll show mine to the camera. I think Strongy actually looks like he could play baseball. Who did you actually see? Because apparently you have history with someone. There. Yeah, so obviously at the event, Big Zoo was hosting. I want to see the ladies doing sweet bada bada bada. For those who don't know, Big Zoo actually went to my school. We're from the same kind of area, so we've kind of grown up with each other to an extent. And so it was kind of, I don't know if we gas it, I don't know if it too much. <laughs> but I was actually quite sick seeing him, obviously he's done so well for himself. And obviously he introduced me to Ellis Gilbert as well, who obviously is one of the founders of Basement. You know what, all of the hosts were representing West London, weren't yeah. they? They were checking out your trap star tea as yeah. well, they were like, I had the, oh, I had the trap star tea yeah. and Cortez, both that are kind of affiliated with West London. So I tried to put on from my end, you know what I'm saying? I think you might hit a home run at one point. It did. It's only because you strongly because you got the home run. I win? It's only you got the home run here. Yeah. I think all of us struggled at first, like trying to just like hit it out. It was like getting that sort of hand eye coordination going. At the Soul Supply, we're all very competitive with each other. We're all, we're all one big happy family, but we're a family that likes to fight over FIFA and baseball and ping pong, and I can keep going. Shoot, Johnny! No! 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 While Strong hit a home run, what did Miles hit? I hit uh, the guy cleaning up the balls. You know when you say balls, so many times it's not that You remember the dance battle? Oh my. Oh <laughs> my days. It was actually like the main event of that night. It was unplanned. Yeah, me and you were just um, like, Yeah, just. Well, I, I was doing some of these. Yeah, a little bit of Yeah. One of the members of staff in the home run house was also like quite a really good dancer. We ended up in a dance battle. It was a full like step up. You yeah, know, like, by they proper like he danced for 20 circle. seconds, he danced for 20 seconds. I was on Basement Story, that was yeah. wild. And their TikTok too. Yeah, yeah. and their TikTok yeah. too, oh my day. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Basement, man. It was a good was night a for John. Yeah. It was a good night for John. Night for <laughs> I had a really good time, I want to do it again. You know how it left me feeling? Kinda want him to like, Go watch baseball game. Really? Yeah, for real. The uniforms are cool as well. This is it. Yeah, I, I was ready to cop a jersey. Yeah. It felt like a jersey. Is it. Jersey's cool. Yeah, it. In general, just wanted to shout out Baseman, shout out MLB, shout out Home Runner House. Everyone that was involved in the curation of that event, cherry on top. It's in like, terms of the events that yeah. we've gone to so I far. I think coming back from lockdown, I think that's the second event we've been to. Yeah, 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 second or third event for and sure. For it to really pop off like that was like wow, just back to normal and felt good. And yeah, they're for the best I've had this year. Mm -hmm. so. We love every second of it. So we hope that MLB, let us know when the next event 100%. happens. You know? We'll be there. <laughs> we'll be there. We'll be there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Trouble, come in. <laughs> come in. Oh, look at it. Look at you. Now we have puppy therapy going on. Who's this gorgeous guy, <laughs> Lana? He's the boss's dog, but I think I might nick him. <laughs> he loves me. He loves me. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Shoot my dad. <laughs> Olu, how do you feel about this predicament? Honestly, you know what? I'm kind of liking it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Miles, word on the street is we have a new starter in the office. Yep, I'd like to introduce you to Craig. Craig? Hello, so mm -hmm. I am the new social media executive uh, running the Twitter pages. Um, I came from Offspring Selfishes uh, on the men's floor and I'm so happy to be here. Uh, I've been there a couple of days and I'm absolutely loving it. Nice, we're going to be tracking um, Craig's journey here for his first week so we'll find out whether he's still going to be loving it or he's going to think that we're too weird. So yeah. <laughs> Look who it is! Yo, what are you saying? Russ in the building. Let's go. Let's go. Hello. Nice. Nice to meet you. <laughs> um, hi guys. My name is Raf. I am from Southampton. I'm one of the content writers here at the Soul Supplier, and I cover sneaker-related news, mainly New Balance because that's my favorite footwear label. Yeah. And what's he got so on foot right now? I've got the Paperboy Paris New Balance 992s. Hi guys, thanks for watching this week's vlog. We've got so many more wonderful people in the company to show you, so make sure you keep watching. We're also going to be going through company best practices and you'll see our social that celebrates the end of the quarter. It's going to be amazing. See you there. Bye!